All right, guys, now we're going to do this problem that says determine the magnitude and direction measured counterclockwise from the positive x axis of the resultant force acting on the ring if this force is 750 and this is 45 degrees. Well, if this is 45 degrees, this is 45 degrees also because uh, 45 plus 45 equals 90, which is this angle that they form right here. If you redraw, this force right here you can more or less estimate that the resultant force is going to be somewhere over there it's always good to estimate um graphically where it's going to be so when you get your answer it more or less makes sense it's a way of uh, checking it so you could do this with triangles and law signs law cosine but that's just too complicated for such a simple problem what we're going to do is we're going to break down uh, f of a and f of e into x and y components just add them and see what we get so f of r in the x is going to be the x component of f of a which is 750 and the cosine of 45 plus because they're both going on the positive x uh, direction 800 which is f of e cosine of 30 degrees when you plug this in your calculator it's going to give you 1223.15 uh, I believe yeah we're in newtons so f of r of y the y component of the resultant of the force should be slightly positive by my estimation 750 sine of 45 although sine of 45 and cosine of 45 are the exact same thing minus minus because f of b is going on the uh, negative y uh, direction 800 sine of 30 degrees when you plug these numbers in your calculator you're going to get 130.33 so you can see that more or less my estimation was correct was more or less over here over here now we got to find this angle uh, to find the uh, and the magnitude of f of r of course so let's find the magnitude first the magnitude of f of r is equal to 1233.15 square plus 130.33 square all of that square rooted and that gives you 1230.1 newtons and the angle let's call it, I don't know it's going to be equal to the tangent inverse of the y component over the x component 15 and it's going to be positive in this case because it's going up so when you plug this number in it's going to give you 6.08 degrees so f of r is equal to 1230.1 at an angle of 6.08 degrees uh, final answer